How do you open a door with a keypad? So here's a simulated keypad. I have nine LEDs to represent the buttons. And how would I know what code I push to open up this door? Well, you don't know the code. Okay, so the way to get through this is with a brute force attack. So a brute force attack says, I don't know the code. I'm going to try every code. And that's pretty easy. I could go 0000, 0001, and so forth. And when things are that easy, then we can have a computer do it. If I can explain exactly how to do it, then why not just have a computer do it, and it will be a lot faster than I can push the buttons. So I'm going to show you this simulated brute force attack with this simulated keyboard or keypad, and then I'm going to show you the code. Okay, so this is controlled with this device, which is a small processor. I actually have one right here, another one. This is a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so this is a whole computer with USB ports and power and monitor connection, but it has these input-output pins right there, so I can control LEDs. You could do actually a whole bunch of awesome stuff. They're very inexpensive and easy to use uh, if you want to play with stuff like this this is where you should start. They're great. Okay, so this one's connected up. Uh, I have these pins are all just using this cable to get to this breadboard where I can plug in all my LEDs. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Oh, I also have a little speaker here to make a little simulated beep, 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 beep. Okay, so I'm going to run this. It'll run through some of the numbers and we can find out what the code is. So here we go. Okay, so I got the code and printed it out. I had a code of 100, uh, just so I wouldn't have to go through 999, 9,999 in order to get to it. Okay, let's look at the code though, because it's really not too complicated. So I'm just gonna move the camera over here. Forgive me for moving right there. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Okay, so let's look at what this code says. Uh, this. First up, this is in Python, which is pretty easy to, to work with if you've worked with other things. Uh, so here, I just tell it which LEDs are hooked up, up to which pins, so it knows how to turn them on and off, and then also for the buzzer. Uh, here, code, I just make a random number for the code. I don't want to know what the code is, okay, so I want to be able to guess. Next, we have up here this function push button for push button, so if I give it a, B, C, D, then it will turn on those particular lights that correspond to those in that sequence. So all I do is go down here and I turn it on button A and then I turn on the buzzer and then I wait a certain amount of time and then I turn it off. And I do the same thing for B, C, and D. Okay, that's it. That just turns those on. Okay, down here, now I have these four things are ranges of numbers from actually they go from zero to nine. They don't include the 10. And then what I'm going to do is just cycle through these four ranges of numbers. That's what I'm doing here in this loop. It's a four nested loop. And I push the button of, the con the, of that combination. Here's the important part. How do I make a number out of that? those four numbers? Well, I have n1 times 1,000 for the, the first digit, n2 times 100, and then n3 times 10 plus n4. And that would give me the thing, those four digits as a number. And then I can check and see if it's the code. If it does, I stop. I have to do it four times for each loop. And then I print the code, and then I make the thing flash. And that's it. Okay. So that's your basic brute force attack. And that's how you would open that lock.